So you want to build that lean, functionally strong body. A great exercise to do this is the dip. Great for getting those climb ups, muscle ups, developing strength in the upper body. But maybe you're at home right now, you may be still on lockdown or you don't have access to dip bars, to gyms, or maybe you just don't wanna to go to gyms and you wanna be able to get this exercise in inside your own home. Well, this was a request in one of our comments. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do dips inside your own home with just what you have laying around your home. And now if you're a beginner watching this video or you've had shoulder injuries in the past, it's important you watch this entire video because I'm gonna be going into some tips on how to perform the dip properly and avoid those pesky injuries that are all too common with dip exercises. All right, this first in-home dip alternative, I'm actually gonna show you inside my kitchen here. I'm in Peru right now, my brother's in Thailand. My girlfriend's actually filming this right now. So apologize, we haven't filmed a lot of YouTube videos recently, but we're just about to release a whole new series, all right? So this first alternative, it's pretty unique, and some of you might know this little trick here, but it's using your countertop, specifically the corner here. The most important thing is, though, that your countertop is sturdy, okay? It needs to be able to hold your weight, all right? Some of us may not have that available to us, and I'll have another option here in a little bit, but if you have a countertop here, the corner works so good because you can adjust the grip pretty easily here. It's comfortable on the corner here to fit your width. Great alternative there. All right, the second alternative I'm gonna share with you, we're gonna go back inside here, and most of us will be able to use this here, all right? The second one, all you need are two sturdy chairs and that you can put your weight into. Now, even with these chairs, these are pretty cheap plastic chairs, but some people, you may have sturdy chairs, but you can use the tops. And what I like to do is angle the arms here slightly, right, so it's a nice, comfortable V position, and then you just perform your dip. All right, huge disclaimer here. It's important that when you're choosing your objects here to use for this exercise, that you choose objects that are sturdy and can hold your weight. The last thing I want you to do is to win a Darwin Award on your equipment failing on you, or things just collapse and you're falling apart. So again, make sure the objects you use are sturdy and can hold your weight. Now this third dip alternative is a really popular one, but you're gonna want to avoid this. Okay, use the side of the object like so. You have the ledge, put your body in front, and you're dipping down, up and down. Right, simple, looks cool. But this positioning here, and I'll get more into this in the technique, is putting your shoulders in a vulnerable position. And for a lot of us here, this could lead to injuries in our shoulders and it's a no bueno, no go here, okay? So you don't wanna do this alternative, you wanna use the other ones that are gonna put your shoulders in just a safer position. Another huge tip for beginners is doing the dips with assistance because it can be a, a lot of weight especially if you're a beginner and you're not used to that strength, you haven't built the strength for it, that can be a lot of weight and again, risk you damaging the shoulders if you don't have the control here. So what's great about these in-home setups that I just showed you is a lot of them are low enough where you can place one foot down and have that as assistance to help with this. And then as you improve, take a little bit more and more weight off and then increase the range as you improve and improve on your dip that way in a gradual progression. Okay, now that you know those alternatives, this is probably the most important part of the video, and that's getting the right technique with these dips. Number one, your grip. You wanna grip really strong. Number two, you wanna press up so you're nice and tall, okay, to start. And you wanna make sure that your shoulders aren't too far rounded or too arched, okay? Nice, basic neutral position here. You wanna also brace the core, okay? The full body is gonna be engaged. And then you're going to lean slightly forward some say around a 45 degree angle, somewhere around here, just not too far forward where you put too much pressure on the shoulders. And then you're going to lower slowly down. And this is where it's important where people, a lot of people make the mistake of flaring the elbows out. Okay, we wanna wrap the elbows in, keep them close to the body. And as you go down, attempt to stack these joints here, creating a nice 90 degree angle here. If our flexibility and our strength can handle it, okay? And then up. Nice and slow and controlled, keeping those elbows in, and then back to that return position, and repeat. And here's something that many people don't think about, is do you have the shoulder flexibility or the range of motion to really perform dips safely? So for an example, you can try this out with me here, you can do this little test here, and that's Stand up tall, straight, have the shoulders down in their sockets, and I just want you to have your arms close to your sides, elbows wrapped in, and bring your arms as far back as you can, okay, without overarching, okay, bring your arms back as far as you can. 
and then bend your arms at the elbows as you would like if you were doing a dip, okay? And see what your range is here. If you're limited on this range going back, imagine if you're doing you know, a 90 degree position dip, where your body has to be to be able to pull that off. And this goes back to the example I was showing here. From the start, you have to have good flexibility with these shoulders, and then even further as you go down, further into that dip. So if you're lacking with this range here, you're gonna to wanna to work on this flexibility and mobility. A couple of exercises you want to do is just work on bringing those arms back close to your sides, static stretches going as far back as you can, and then arm circles as well, holding a belt, holding a stick, going up and over and around. All right, so those are two in-home alternatives you can start using, work on those dips. Now, if you like these kind of exercises here, you wanna get functionally strong, get that lean body, all in home, just 30 minutes or less, then make sure to check out the link down in the description. You'll see our Rapid Primal Fitness program. You can check that out, join our program. Or if you wanna get started with our free in-home bodyweight strength session, you can check that out in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, because we got a whole series of videos coming your way. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So make sure to turn that notification bell so you don't miss out. As you subscribe, I wanna give a shout out, a highlight to a Primal Body team member here. This person's been a huge inspiration when we have challenges. He's also come a long way in his fitness journey. His name is Ian Chua. Ian Chua has been able to unlock some incredible strength skills, body weight skills, flexibility skills, over the time, he's put a lot of dedication into his training, and he also does some really cool, unique movements. And I just wanna give you a shout out, Ian, tell you you've been an inspiration for a lot of us in the Primal Body team, and keep it going, keep it up.